My name is Anand Rempen. I am the Associate Professor of Medicine at the Tulane School of Medicine. And I'm the senior author on the article, Natural Disasters and Myocardial Infarction, Six Years Follow-Up in the Mayo Clinic Proceedings. After Katrina, we noticed that we were uh, coming into the hospital more often uh, to treat patients for heart attacks. And we decided to look into it. And we found a threefold increase in heart attacks uh, post Katrina compared to pre Katrina. We initially looked at it at two years and then three years. And this study is our six year data, which continues to show a threefold increase in heart attacks post Katrina compared to pre Katrina. That this uh, finding is very important for clinical practice because it helps uh, the physicians and especially cardiologists take better care of their patients after disaster. They can concentrate more on their um, uh, health uh, because a lot of these patients uh, uh, prioritize rebuilding their homes over their health and taking their medications. And we found a high increase in non-compliance in these patients. It is important that physicians are more aware of this uh, non-compliance issue with patients when they see uh, patients after disaster. So in New Orleans, we found um, a higher incidence of non-compliance. We found more patients who did not have insurance, who are unemployed, and uh, more patients who had a previous history of coronary artery disease, uh, showing us that the milieu of the patients uh, was a sicker population and who had uh, increased incidence of coronary artery disease and some increase in the risk factors for coronary artery disease, especially hypercholesterolemia and smoking. Uh, we also found uh, increased incidence of substance abuse after uh, Katrina in the patients who had uh, increased incidence of heart attacks. And, um, I think it's important um, to remember that after a major disaster, um, rebuilding your home is very important, but it is also important to remember that health is a big priority. And that is something that uh, uh, people generally neglect because uh, their home is what they see, and they don't realize by not taking their medications, in the long run, they're going to have um, um, ill effects to uh, their health um, even many years after the disaster. I feel that um, uh, with this study and other studies, um, the issues with health have been highlighted. And hopefully with that, government if officials and other officials of cities that are prone to these disasters will concentrate on not only the rebuilding of the homes for people after disaster, but also the psychological impact and the health impact of patients affected by these disasters. Mm -hmm. uh, we plan to uh, look at um, uh, patients affected uh, by uh, this disaster in other hospitals in the city uh, because um, maybe this is just uh, concentrated to one part of the city and we would like to see whether it affected the entire city. We hope you found this presentation from the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our home page is www.mayocliniceproceedings.org. There you will find access information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.com. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.